so I just pulled in here to Ikea, one of my favorite places to shop, and I'm gonna be sharing with you 10 secrets, some of which I just discovered myself on how to save money, and then I'm also gonna share with you my top 10 items that I like here under $10. But first I wanna thank this episode's sponsor, which is Top Cashback, and in a little bit I'm gonna share with you how to save money with them as well. So lots of money saving advice on this episode. So let's go into Ikea and then I'll start sharing my secrets. Did you know that IKEA has a VIP program? They do. It's called IKEA Family and it will save you a ton of money and it has a ton of perks. I had no idea they had this program, but you can get things from extra member discounts to free workshops and events and loyalty surprises and so much more, which I will share with you in just a moment. But it's super easy to sign up. All you have to do is just go into your IKEA store and there's a kiosk near the entrance. You fill out the requested information and they will email you a QR code that you can use at checkout. In fact, upon me signing up, they immediately sent me a $20 off, $150 purchase, and buy one, get one free meal. I'm only a few feet in the door and I'm winning already. The next way to save money at Ikea is skipping the marketplace. Do your research online first. Put a shopping list together, especially the furniture items. You can just go into the warehouse area, grab what you need and get out of there. <laughs> Cause as you'll see as I'm shopping here, I end up getting sucked into buying some extra purchases, all of which I'm happy about. But if you're looking to save money, get in, get out as fast as possible. Ikea is there to draw you in and get you to spend more money and they've designed it perfectly for that. If you see a sign like this with a little red box offset, that means it's the lowest priced item of similar items. So if you're looking for a craft in this case, this is the cheapest craft you will get. And you'll find that in a lot of different sections. So if you go into one section, it's gonna show you the lowest price item in that section. If you're looking to save money, they've made it really easy for you. Ikea is known for holding about three to four big sales a year, like 20% off of your kitchen cabinet. So if that's something you're looking to do, you're definitely gonna wanna know when and how to go about that. And another thing that I didn't even realize this, and maybe you didn't as well, is did you know each location is franchised? I thought they were all owned by a bigger company, kind of like Walmart, but they are individually franchised. So sometimes you're gonna find a little variation in price and sales and things that are going on. So it's really good to touch base with your Ikea associates in your location to kind of find out when those sales are going to occur. And then I'm going to tell you in a little bit another way to also stay up on the latest information. So hang on for that one coming up soon. It's another secret and it will help you with that as well. Before we continue with our Ikea shopping secrets to save you money and time, I want to tell you first really quick about our episode sponsor, Top Cashback. It's an online app for your online shopping and honestly everybody's shopping online these days top cashback is super easy to sign up all you have to do is go to their website input your email a password and how you heard about them and then you just look for the retailer that you are wanting to shop and they have over 4,000 retailers including walmart and amazon michaels and hobby lobby dollar tree all the places you are most likely shopping already and you make a percentage of your purchase in cash back you get 100 percent of the commission because of that they consistently feature higher rates than other competitors also there's no minimum payout so you get your cash when you need plus they have this really handy browser extension that you can add that will notify you if there's a cashback opportunity like you see here on the Michaels website it is letting me know that there is a 9% cashback potential if you want to know all the details on that you can just click down on the menu and it will let you know then you just shop as usual so I spent about $23 at Michaels and if I did my calculations correctly that should be about two dollars in cash back but I think back about all the places I've shopped how much money I've spent at all of these places 
I'm like adding it all up in my head going, where has this been all my life? And as a fun bonus, if you sign up through my link in the description box below, they will give you a $10 sign up bonus when you spend your first $25 using Top Cash Back. So if you haven't checked out Top Cash Back yet, definitely check it out. All right, back to our Ikea secrets. So a lot of people are buying houses right now. So my next secret will really be good if you are planning a move anytime soon. Did you know that you can get a moving discount? You can do this online or in your local store. You can get a $25 coupon. 25 bucks is a lot, especially when you have so many moving expenses and you know you need the little things like curtains and things like that and pillows. So you can get $25 off of your $250 purchase and you know you're gonna spend that if you're moving on just those little odds and ends and so every little bit helps. Also when you sign up, you'll also receive shopping lists, checklists and inspiration boards from the store. So really good little program that they have going there. Don't forget to get your coupon. Did you know that IKEA has a 90 day money guarantee? So if something you purchased goes on sale or is less money within 90 days of purchasing it, you can go into the store and get that back. <laughs> Keep that in mind. They've got a 90 day protection guarantee, which can potentially save you some money, especially on some bigger purchases. All you need to do is go into the, your local store with your receipt within 90 days and they will refund you the difference. And that's also a part of that IKEA family. IKEA family is something free to join and you're gonna see that it has so many benefits. So that is definitely another reason to sign up for that. Did you know that they have a 365 day warranty on their items? Some of their warranties even go up to 25 years. Holy cow. I mean, I know Ikea pieces are pretty affordable to begin with, to be honest with you. I think their prices are generally pretty good, but you have like the reassurance that for 365 days, one whole year, you can take your product back if it doesn't hold up, it doesn't last. So definitely another perk of shopping at Ikea. Be aware of that as is section. You can find some pretty amazing things. Just go check it over, make sure there's no cracks, no weird things going on with it. Just make sure that it's a good quality piece. A lot of times things are in really excellent condition. I have the perfect spot for this quilt. And so I'm gonna get it and I'm gonna save a ton of money getting it in the as is section. And I like this piece here because I already have an, an upcoming Ikea hack planned using two of these and now I can save $40 off of one of them. It was a floor model in great condition. So this was a really good find. One word of caution about shopping in the as is section. The savings are so good that you end up buying more sometimes. So I've got something planned for this and that bedspread. So stay tuned for future episodes because I got a few things today. Also, I hear the best time to do that is early in the week, maybe a Monday or Tuesday after you have all of those weekend returns. <laughs> You're gonna have a much better selection, but you know, it's always gonna be a little bit hit and miss. All right, so if you see a last chance tag, that means they are not getting it again. So if you like it, you better grab it. So if you wanna avoid some headache in returning items, cause sometimes items just don't work out. They're the wrong color, the wrong size, something's wrong with it. The return line can get pretty hairy at times. So if you want to avoid that, the best time to go is on a weekday, preferably early in the week, in the morning time before it gets all crazy. I've seen that line get crazy long. It's worse on the weekend. So if you need to do an Ikea return, try to avoid the weekends. Ain't got no time for that. <laughs> Nobody's got any time for that. Now my last Ikea shopping secret before we get into my top 10 favorite Ikea items under $10, make sure you sign up for mobile alerts. That way you don't miss out on a sale. And that's what I was referencing to earlier. If you sign up for the mobile alerts, it's gonna let you know when things go in sale, when things are discounted and it will save you time, it will save you money and save you headache. And one little added bonus tip is make sure you check the stock before you go. If you're looking for a particular item, you can check online 
before you go, because not everybody has an Ikea super close to them. For me, it's nearly an hour away. You wanna check to make sure that they have those items in stock so you don't make an unnecessary trip. So now it's time to go into my top 10 favorite items under $10 at Ikea, and there's some good ones. You've seen me DIY some of these on my channel before, and then there's a couple of new ones. So let's get started with that list. Hold my root beer while I absolutely slaughter these Ikea names. The first one is the God Tag Bar vase. <laughs> which retails for $9.99. When I first saw this, I almost passed it over because of the blue rim, but I just made a simple fix by painting it out in a more neutral chalk paint, and I absolutely love this high-end look. I'm so glad I purchased this, and it's definitely one of my favorites. These little cloches are definitely one of my favorites for $7.99, so cute. I have a couple of these in my home already. I love them. Definitely one of my favorites. I love these cement pots. In fact, I used a larger version of this in a recent DIY, and I even have a much bigger one that I'm also gonna use. I think they are so cute, and at $3.99, such a steal. Ikea's floral and greenery department is always a must stop for me. I'm always getting something whenever I come here because the prices are good and the quality is great and I just love it. I did a recent hack using these balls and I love them. And apparently so does everybody else because they are almost gone. <laughs> Maybe everybody watched my episode and came and cleared them out. <laughs> These Lurpasa baskets are so cute, and with just a little embellishment, which we did in a previous episode, it just takes them up just an extra notch. I just added buttons to mine, but you could easily add a contrasting color or stain them, and at $9.99 for a set of two, it's a great price, and here you can see them in my recent bathroom renovation. I really love all Ikea greenery, but there is something really special about this Baby Tears greenery, and at $4.99, you can't beat the price. Another one of my favorites is this Sortso rug. I did, I used this in a recent Ikea hack episode, and I see that this little rug has so much potential to be so many different things. Don't be surprised if you see another one from me. Look at this adorable pillow cover for $3.99, $3.99. Even if it's just like a solid thing, you can put something on the front of it just to make it more interesting. I may grab this for a future Ikea hack. I really love this carafe, which I think is technically supposed to be used for juice, but I'm going to use it like a vase. I'm gonna use it in conjunction with my last item, which are the peony stems. These are so pretty. You know I love peonies, and I think it, this makes for a really cute and simple arrangement, which I may dress up a little bit more in a future episode. And don't forget about that $10 sign up bonus for your first $25 with top cash back. The link is in the description box below. If you enjoyed this episode, here's another one that I think you'll like as well. And if you haven't done so already, consider hitting that subscribe button right there. It's super easy to do. I'd love it if you joined the DIY Niner family and to all of my DIY Niners, I just want to remind you that you are more powerful than you know. We'll see you next time. Bye.